Hey, Tremaine, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. Um, I was wondering just, you know, when you look at what he's done this season as a whole, what have you seen from Matt Milano and how he's helped this defense? Yeah, uh, he's been a baller since day one. Um, you know, not just this year, I think. I mean, not I think, but I know every year I've been here, I mean, he's been making plays. Um, I mean, that's what he does, uh, and particularly this year. I mean, obviously, you see him, you know, make a lot of, you know, tackles in the backfield, um, you know, a lot of uh, pass deflections. He's good in coverage. Uh, I mean, he's a guy that pretty much can do it all. Uh, you know, I'm fortunate enough to play with him, man. You know, a guy, he's smart off the field. Uh, we got a good bond, and um, obviously, he's a pro. You know, the things that he does outside of, you know, the facility, the things that he does, you know, inside the facility when we're not even, you know, practicing things like the extra stuff that he do. Uh, so it doesn't go like it's not surprising to me because, you know, he, he approaches it like that every day. Uh, truly a pro. Are there some plays of his this season that really stand out to you? Uh, I mean, you know, I guess the most recent one, even last week, you know, when he got that PBU and uh, Levi was able to come away with the takeaway. Um, you know, that was a big time play, you know, just seeing it, you know, seeing the way that he broke on it, uh, seeing the way that he reacted. And, you know, obviously that was a big play for our team and for our defense. And then last one for me, you guys didn't have him last time y'all played Kansas City and obviously the defense had a really strong performance regardless, but just what will it mean to have him this week? Yeah, definitely happy to have him back. Um, you know, um, you know, he had his injury down, but uh, definitely happy to have him. Uh, I know he's excited to be out there and excited to go to work and, uh, and I'm excited to see, you know, what he, do, what he does out there. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, Tremaine. Um, You've had a, a couple times, and I know the AFC Championship game was not full capacity, but then you played them earlier this year. So, so do you feel uh, you have a good sense of the environment in Arrowhead, uh, and, and how could that be beneficial this weekend? Yeah, I think every time that we played there, obviously it was a hostile environment. Um, we understand that, um, you know, so we kind of, you know, we know what to expect as far as, you know, what the environment would be like, but we got to just control what we can control, and that's how we play out there. Um, you know, we got to do what we can, you know, to kind of take the crowd out of the early and, you know, he's executing the hobby man. And I've asked some of the guys, this will be the fourth time you face them now in two years. Uh, how do you juggle and manage taking the information you have from three previous games uh, while also understanding that there's always adjustments that, that teams make? So you're familiar, but you don't want to rely on that too much. Yeah, I think that's exactly what it is. I mean, obviously, you become familiar with the things that may have hurt you. Um, you know, familiar with the things that, that was good for us as well. But at the same time, understand that this is another round. I mean, this is a new game. It's going to be new plays. It's going to be new adjustments that we have to make. I mean, no team is the same, you know, each time you play them. And uh, if, 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 if anything, it only makes it harder because uh, the team puts more in. And, you know, obviously, you got to adjust to more things. But, uh, I mean, that's a challenge that we're ready for. And then lastly, just from a film standpoint, how is this offense, Kansas City's, different the way, than the one uh, that you saw in week five? I mean, even in week five, I mean, we understood that, it, you know, it was a you know, good offense that we were going against. And I think the same thing goes now. I mean, obviously, you know, they got most of the same guys still on offense, uh, probably a couple of injuries here and there. But for the most part, it's the same guys. And, you know, we still understand that it's, you know, a good offense. So, uh, we prepare it like that, and, you know, we just got to go out and execute come Sunday. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah. Hey, Tremaine, can you hear me? Yeah. I wanted to ask about Leslie Frazier. What is it guys like about playing for him? What about his game plans give you a chance to succeed every week? Why is he Why is he somebody players seem to rally around? Uh, yeah, I think it's just because he's the same, you know, each and every day. I mean, you know what you're getting out of him, uh, you know, the kind of coach he is, he's going to be honest with you. Um, he's going to put us in position and make plays. And, uh, you know, obviously, the guys respect him. You know, I respect him and I uh, appreciate everything he's done for me. As far as making me a better player, I know a lot of guys can say the same for themselves. But, um, you know, just, you know, from day one when I got in, I just had, you know, complete respect for him, uh, confidence in him and whatever he called. We go out there and execute and, um, you know, plan to do the same thing on Sunday. Somebody who puts guys in positions to play to their strengths rather than, you know, do what he wants to do, if that makes sense. Exactly, exactly. Definitely listen to, you know, what the players have to say and um, definitely, you know, is educated in what he's talking about as well. So uh, I think that's where a lot of respect comes from, from the players. Thank you. Yeah. Maine Savage, Mookie Hawkins, Ruffle Sports Today. What's up, big dog? 
What's going on, man? I'm great, man. And thank God it's Friday. But um, Leslie Frazier, man, he has a saying. If it if it, if it's not challenging you, it it won't change you. What do you what do you what do you think it that means? I mean, it's almost like you heard the phrase, man. Uh, don't get too comfortable. I think that's just simply what it is. I mean, obviously, uh, you got to make yourself uncomfortable. And I think challenging yourself, as we always talk about, makes you uncomfortable, right? So uh, I think people that becomes comfortable and not striving, you know, to perfection each and every day, they're comfortable with where they're at. And uh, just hearing that from him, I mean, that speaks volumes to the type of guy he is, man, because Coach Frazier, he pushes us like that every single day. And I don't think anybody on this defense, anybody on this team is comfortable where we're at now. All of us strive for perfection each and every day. Even though it's, even though it may not be something we can get, we want to get close to it. But uh, I mean, that's just the type of guy coach is, and you know, definitely a strong quote there. Absolutely, man. And you know, since week what fourteen, you guys have been playing just aggressive in an in attacking football. How do you guys carry that over into Sunday? I mean, I think it's just keep doing the things that we've been doing. Um, you know, no matter who the opponent is, you know, stay true to ourselves and just going out and executing. Uh, I think that's the biggest thing. I mean, you know, a lot of times, you know, people get caught up in, you know, not playing their type of ball and not doing the things that, you know, got them to a certain point. Um, you know, I can't say the same, you know, for this team. I mean, we've been doing the things that, you know, got us to this point, even when they were bad. You know what I mean? Obviously, you're going to have ups and downs throughout the year, but you just got to keep stacking them, uh, keep going to the next shot, and uh, just keep improving on the things that you got to improve on. Now, the Buffalo Bills win if... Say it again. The Buffalo Bills win if. We just got to play as a team. You know, we got to execute at a high level. And that's that's the key to success. Absolutely, my guy. Safe travels and uh, good luck on Sunday. Appreciate it. Hey, Tremaine, how, how tough an assignment is this for you? Because on one play, you're going to have to try and body up a monster like Travis Kelsey. Then on the next one, you're dealing with a speedster like Tyreek Hill crossing across or McCole Hardman or something like that. I get it's kind of the job you do week in and week out, but add that in with a quarterback that might throw from the pocket, might throw 10 yards left, might throw 10 yards right. Is this, from your point of view, as a middle linebacker, as tough an assignment as you get? I mean, obviously, yeah, definitely. It's, it's you know, it's a challenge, uh, but it's a challenge that I'm ready for, you know, a challenge that I look forward to. Uh, you know, I take great pride in that. You know, we got some good looks at it this week through our practice, and, you know, we're still putting the pieces together now. So, uh, you know, it's definitely, you know, assignment that I'm, I'm ready for. Like a high talk yesterday about you got the play with the Chiefs, then you got the play after the play. They're the number one yak team in the NFL. How important is it for you guys to defend that play after the play? And if you give up a pass, you limit it to just the completion, not whatever else might happen. Yeah, I think the biggest thing is just going on to the next play. Um, you know, like I said earlier, it's, it's going to be ups and downs. You know, they're going to have some plays out there. Uh, but we just got to talk about it as a defense, man. We got to go to the next shot figure out what it was and, you know, correct it on the sideline. We got to be able to make in-time adjustments and, uh, you know, be able just to play what we see out there. You said you got some good looks this week in practice. So who was the scout team superstar this week for you guys? <laughs> man, we had a lot of guys going to work for us, man. So uh, it's kind of I really everybody, man. I don't want to start naming because I leave guys out. But, you know, I think the guys definitely did a good job uh, giving us good looks. Cool. Thanks, man. Good luck this weekend. Thanks. That'll do it for today. Thanks, Jermaine. Appreciate it.